This is a John Deere 4020 tractor. It's made by Scale Models and it's in 1 8 scale. Now, 1 8 scale tractors, I had seen them before, but I've never actually had one out of the box and, you know, really got, gotten a good look at it. Uh, it is surprisingly big. And just looking at it, it's kind of hard to grasp the scale. But once you put your hands on it, you kind of figure it out. And just for perspective, that's 1 16th scale, that's 1 8th. This thing is a monster. It weighs in at about 25 pounds. I mean, it it is extraordinarily heavy. And it, it's, it's pretty deceptive. You wouldn't think it is as heavy as it is. But this thing has got some some heft to it. It's it's a little bit wild. Uh, now these 1-8 scale tractors are kind of interesting. They don't make a whole lot of them. Uh, there's not a lot of variety. So it's kind of... Uh, they're, they're a little bit hard to find. I don't think there's a very big... Um, I don't want to say collector market, but there's not a lot of people that have 1-8 scale tractors. Put it that way. As far as uh, like the detail and everything on it goes, again, it's kind of interesting because the the one eight scale tractors have a lot more uh, features on them than than what the older one sixteenth scale tractors had. Uh, this one's got. I imagine these are your remote lines and your uh, like your three point controls because you have your gears here, throttle there, and you have a three point hitch on the back. You don't have any pedals though. Which is kind of interesting. Um, like I said, the the older 116 scales wouldn't have had any of that. So this one does, which is which is interesting. But if you look at it through today's standards, through the 116 scale tractors that are made now, all that stuff is is there. Plus you have the you know your brake and your your clutch lot your your clutch pedals and uh, maybe a little bit more motor detail. You know, just a little bit. So it's kind of interesting that what was great years ago is almost subpar today. Um, but overall, though, it, it looks pretty good. It's it looks nice sitting on the shelf. It's uh, the paint is pretty thick. The casting is nice for the most part. It's uh, really really kind of impressive. Um, now this one, this particular tractor. God, this thing is so hard to move. I had picked this up at an auction uh, a little while ago, and it had been setting. It had to have been setting in a in a shop or something, because the amount of just dirt. And I, I don't say dust. I say dirt because it had dirt caked up on it. Uh, it was probably the worst I'd ever seen. It took me about three hours to get this cleaned up to where it's. Um, I guess presentable. <laughs> uh, it does have some bumps and bruises on it. I think you know maybe the kids got it and it, you know played with it or whatever, because it's it's got a fair amount of paint chips to it, but it still looks good. And I don't know if that's just because it's so big that it's hard to notice the little you know paint flecks here and there. It's just uh, it's interesting. Now the steering does actually work. And you do have a pretty good amount of steering there. Um, Motor detail is pretty good. You know, fuel cap and radiator cap. Uh, you do have a metal exhaust mounted in there. Um, night. And on the back here, you got your three-point hitch, which is spring-mounted. So it's always in the race position. You have that elusive original John Deere top link. A lot of times when um, the real the real you know tractors come up for sale, it, there's always a point made about whether or not it has the original top link. I don't know what it is about those top links that make them so special, but a lot of times you buy these tractors, there's no top link. So it's kind of funny that on the model they made darn sure that it's got the top link. Uh, as far as anything to go with these tractors. I don't know that there's a whole lot of implements out there. Like I said, I've never really um, 
followed the the one eight scale tractors very much. I think there's maybe a wagon and a plow that you can get, but to be honest, I really don't know. Um, there's just not a whole lot of one eight scale stuff out there. If you look here at the console, the console is real basic. There, yeah, you, know, you got a couple gauges here and this and a couple. I don't know, dots there. I don't know what they're supposed to represent exactly. But your throttle does move, and so does your, uh, your gear lever. Which is, you know, nice, I guess. <laughs> it really don't matter. Um, overall, though, this is a, it's really an interesting model. Like I said, you don't see a whole lot of one eight scale tractors out there. They take up a, a ridiculous amount of room, um, if you put 10 of these on your shelf, it's liable to knock your wall down because uh, they are just, they're so heavy. Uh, and you'd have to have a pretty beefy shelf to put it on, uh, no doubt. Um, overall, though, it's pretty neat. It's definitely a unique item to have uh, in the collection. And I don't know if uh, I'd go out of my way to pick up any more, but... It was certainly, uh, certainly interesting. Anyway, that's about it for this. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to ask. If you'd like to see more of what we have, please subscribe to Maryland Construction Diecast. And as always, thanks for watching.